What I want to show here is the option to create a swept blend. So I'm going to begin by drawing a spline. So this is a two-dimensional spline. And I want to point out that you should always be careful to watch the options bar up here. Because as you draft, it will retain the last setting that you had, which is not necessarily what you want. I'm going to place four points to create my spline and then escape, escape. Escape to get out, escape to make sure I'm not in a command. This is like a slalom uh, skier. In other words, the points that I placed are like the poles and the path is the is the skier as he goes between the, the poles. So by adju adjusting these, I'm actually controlling how uh, extreme the curve is. <coughs> what I want to do is place three different profiles, three different closed profiles on this spline. Um, and I, do, I start this by placing three points. So I'm just going to go click, click, and click. Now, the property of the point, when I, th this is the point that's got the normal plane on it, so when I select it, remember if I did that, you can see how it would, you know, it, it always stays normal. But if I look in the properties palette, you'll see a couple of things that you wouldn't have seen before. In 2012, you can decide, is it the beginning, is it from the beginning or from the end of that spline? And then under normalized curve parameter, you can specify zero as being at the exact beginning. If I pick this other point, one represents a hundred percent along the curve. So if I wanted this point to be placed exactly halfway along the length of the spline, I would set this to say 0.5. Okay. Now there's some other options in there that I'm not going to deal with at the moment on how it's how it's measuring this, but normalized curve parameter is that it's measuring along the the length of the of the curve. I'm now ready to draw my geometry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the first point. I'm hitting the holding down the shift key and turning this as I work. And what I'm going to do is draw something that is a rectangle that is um, wide and, and not very tall. So, you know, say 17 something tall, but 72 wide. These, these values don't matter at this stage. Again, it's a, can, to show you the concept. I'm going to go to the end and I'll draw something that is uh, tall and thin, a rectangle that is tall and thin rather than short and wide. And then the one in the middle, I'm going to create a more complex shape. So I'm going to pick on that point and let's just draw it with lines. Come out, go up, escape, escape. Still drawing on that plane. I should see the alignment. And then I'm going to put an arc over here. Okay, so I've got three different profiles and I've got my path and I can pick the three profiles and the path and then say create form, solid form. Right. So my, my, my form changes from being rectangular to being the more complex form to going back to being rectangular at the end. And that, that is a swept, swept blend.